Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Today I'm gonna to be making some delicious hamburgers. So I've got this ground beef here that I, um, you know, it came like already made like a patty, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do my own thing with it. I'm gonna take it and remake it and make it even better. So these are the ingredients I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use some Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, three eggs, some Italian breadcrumbs, uh, Weber's Chicago Steak Seasoning, some garlic powder, and onion powder. Okay, and those are the grease that's gonna go inside the ground beef, so stay tuned. Okay, so the, here we're gonna start with the eggs. I'm gonna crack these three eggs. Crack these three eggs. My dog is going crazy over there. Trying to... No, Layla. No. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm gonna put our Worcestershire sauce in here. We're gonna put some seasoning. Oh, this hasn't been opened yet. So I'll have to open that. Some of these things are hard to open. And they're brand new. Hard to get the little top off. Come on, cooperate. Cooperate with the sister. Okay, guys, just bear with me while I get this open. She doesn't want to cooperate with a sister today. I've never had one be this hard to get off. Goodness gracious, okay. Okay, I'm gonna improvise. Just gonna put some little holes in it through the top. And I'll take that off later. Okay, so shake a lot of that. You have to shake a lot because this top is stuck on there. And I can't get it off. Let me try it again. Without cutting myself. Half to death. Okay, now I just cut this, this little piece of paper is what I was trying to get off of here. Put that back on. Now, that shakes out a lot better. Whew, that was a job. Okay, now we're gonna put some onion powder in here. And we're gonna put some garlic powder. Okay, now it's time to get down and dirty. I'm gonna put some gloves on because I do not like getting down and dirty. Not much get down and dirty with my hands. <clears throat> so, get down and dirty. Okay, so now we can get down and dirty, baby. Honey, child. Start mashing it up, mixing it together. Eggs and everything. We're gonna put some progresso breadcrumbs in there in a few minutes. <clears throat> and all of this is to give it, you know, some hardiness. Now some people can put chopped onions in their burgers, but I don't like chopped onions inside my burger. So I just use the onion powder and then I'll put the fresh onions on top of my burger once I make it. But everybody has their own style. This is just my preference. Okay. So down and dirty with that. Now it's time for the progresso. So I kind of kept this hand clean. So 
I didn't have to make such a big mess. So pour some crumbs in there. I would say probably like a third of a cup of crumbs. Mix that in there, get down and dirty with that too. Mix it all together. And these eggs are gonna help the burgers stay together, stick together. And the breadcrumbs will help you stick together too. It won't come apart while you're cooking. Okay, so got that done. Now, it's time for the skillet. Video. Okay, that's my granddaughter. Start off calling her. <clears throat> okay, so now you just take a big heaping handful because you want to make some big burgers because they're going to shrink, you know, once they start cooking. So you make your patties. Warm your patties like so. Okay, and then you put a little dip in the middle. That helps it cook all the way through. Okay, just make your patties. I'm gonna make some small ones and some big ones because that's just how I do. Take your thumb, put it in the middle, almost like a donut. Get the little depression in the middle. I do this when I cook them on the grill too. Okay, take it, put your thumb down in the middle, put it in the skillet. I can make two more, I think, out of this. Okay. Put it together. Put your hole in the middle. And it's good. Last but not least, I'm just gonna put these on the stove. I may put them in the oven. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put them in the oven. That way, I don't have to worry about. Nothing, I'll flip them one time, just once. And they'll be ready to go. Okay, and that's the day on dirty of it. I'm gonna put these in the oven and let them cook. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, for when they're ready to come out of the oven. Okay guys, I took the um, burgers out of the oven and they're ready. I cooked them on 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And so now they're ready. And of course, you know, this, they've got this little foamy stuff, but that's okay. That's just the eggs and stuff that cooked out of it. So we're gonna take these out and get these ready for the buns, baby. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to finish up with the burgers. We got our two burgers here. We're gonna make two burgers today, two different types of burgers. We got our fixings over here and our ketchup and our um, mustard right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is We'll turn the camera around. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our burgers. I've already toasted the buns. Now we're gonna build a burger. So we're gonna start off. One of them we're gonna start off with cheese. We're gonna put cheese on the bottom and on the top of the meat. Okay, and on top, the piece broke off. So we got our cheese on the bottom and the top. Next, we're gonna go with the our lettuce. Let's grab a piece of lettuce and throw it on there. And next, we're gonna go with our tomato. Grab a couple of tomatoes, throw it on there. And lastly, but not leastly, we're gonna go with our onions. 
onions on there. Then we're gonna grab our mayo, put it on this side of the bread. Okay. This knot right here. And there you go. Beautiful burger. Beautiful burger. Looks yummy. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that's one. Second burger. Some mustard. On the bottom one. Add some ketchup. Make sure it's got a little water in it. Okay, and add your ketchup. Okay, then we're gonna add our burger. We're gonna add our cheese. I already had that cheese sliced in half. We're gonna add our lettuce. And our lettuce. We're gonna add our tomatoes. That's pretty, that red against that green. We're gonna add some avocados. Just a couple pieces. And we're done. You just put your bread on top. You've got your second burger. Looks delicious. Yes, yes, yes. And those are the two burgers that we made today. Okay, so what goes better with with hamburger than fries? Look at that delicious burger with the french fries on the side. Same here. Delicious burger served up fresh with french fries on the side. Mmm, that looks so yummy, yummy, yummy. Good for my tummy. I'm getting ready to dig into this burger. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about to dig in. Okay. About to dig in. Avocados keep falling off. All right. Thanks for tuning to my channel. Ella dishes it out. And remember, as always, on appetit.